Defense attorneys questioned their first witness today in the case of a Coeur d'Alene man accused of killing a police sergeant. The defense has a tough battle ahead. Knowing their client was caught on body camera shooting Sergeant Greg Moore, now they have to prove he did not intend to kill him. KXY 4's Drew Reeves has continuing coverage from Coeur d'Alene where he was in court today to hear that testimony. Yeah, Aaron, witnesses today attempted to prove the defense's argument that Sergeant Greg Moore touched Jonathan Renfro right before Renfro fired his gun, changing the trajectory of that bullet to his face. The defense is arguing that otherwise the bullet would have hit Sergeant Greg Moore in the chest where Jonathan Renfro knew he would be wearing police body armor. However, prosecutors did not let those witnesses off easy today. For several hours today, lawyers asked tough questions of video analysts brought in to testify for the defense. A forensic video analyst and another expert in the science of human motion both used their expertise to come to the conclusion that Sergeant Moore and Jonathan Renfro made contact before Renfro's gun was fired. One of those experts looked at video and audio from Moore's body camera to pinpoint where he believed that contact was made less than a second before the gun was fired. The other looked at slight movement in Sergeant Moore's wrist. He argued that he believed Newtonian laws were at work showing a change in the angle of Moore's wrist as a reaction to force. But prosecutors pushed back, pointing out that both men were making assumptions about the positioning of Moore and Renfro and that not all variables could be accounted for. Both men admitted this was true and it was possible that no contact was ever made. The state is now working on securing witnesses to address the claims made by the defense. The jury has been instructed to be prepared to be sequestered as early as tomorrow, where they will have to decide if Renfro is guilty of first-degree murder. And a surprise in court came today when one juror was relieved of their duties. It came to the court's attention that that juror had made a brief comment with a bailiff he saw uh, at a local store here. However, this will not disrupt the flow of the trial as there were already alternate jurors in place. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Drew Reeves, KXOY 4 News. Thank you, Drew.